Welcome back. Strong thunderstorms arrive Monday afternoon after 2 p.m. When you wake up, it's going to be sunny. It's going to be muggy and humid, and that will fuel storms as a cold front approaches. The biggest impacts out of this storm system are going to be heavy rain. It will be very steady and torrential at times. Also, gusty winds could be in the ballpark of 40 to even up to 65 miles an hour with an isolated strong to severe wind gust possible. And lightning may be frequent and could wash out those evening plans. That free WTO well, 11 weather app will be your best friend tomorrow. Most areas are going to stay partly to mostly cloudy overnight with unseasonably warm temperatures in the low 70s. Here is that weather system. This cold front's going to sweep in from the northwest and it'll bring us several rounds of rain and thunder between Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning. Here's where we stand on Doppler radar. The Buckeye State is high and dry right now. Now, if you're looking to the west and you're seeing this complex of thunderstorms and wondering, will it be anything I need to worry about before sleep? Not so much. The reason is because it's moving from southwest to northeast, heading more towards Saginaw and Lansing. Even though there are a few severe warnings with this one, it's going to skirt by the region and miss out on Toledo altogether. Now, these thunderstorms across Illinois are generally on the decline and they are weak. The best chance for rain in the morning is going to be widely scattered, and I'm focusing on Monday afternoon into Monday evening to bring us the strong storm threat. Here's your forecast. Very warm and humid, 90 degrees going from sunshine to storms, and that hour-by-hour -hour forecast really illustrates the changes in the weather. Sunshine and 70s when you wake up. It'll be incredibly humid at that bus stop. Lunch plans should be a go, but dinner plans, thunderstorms for those after school activities with the kids. Here's the hour by hour forecast if you like things in visual form. When you wake up, most areas staying sunny. Again, a few isolated showers can't be ruled out as those storms from Illinois weaken in our direction by 2 p.m. Here is that line of thunderstorms stretching from Lenaway down towards Defiance into Fort Wayne, and that'll bring us heavy rain, gusty winds, and frequent lightning. By dinner time, racing along the I-75 corridor into areas like Finley, Fremont, and Tiffin, and through the latter portions of the evening, the heaviest storms slide off into eastern Ohio, and you'll be able to go to sleep tomorrow night without any worries about the weather. There could still be some on and off showers into Tuesday morning, but by Tuesday afternoon, the skies start to open up as sunshine makes a return. And boy, that cold front is going to have a huge difference on our weather. Turning brighter with a gusty breeze behind that front. In fact, it'll be full on sun by Tuesday afternoon. Winds could gust 30 miles an hour. It'll be an incredibly breezy day. And because of those winds, conditions on Lake Erie may be hazardous. And this strong of a cold front could even usher in a couple funnels or water spouts on Lake Erie. You'll find more information on that on the Lakeshore zone of our WTOL 11 weather app. Starting off September behind that cold front, temperatures drop down to the 70s, and it's going to be a cool, crisp, and refreshing start to the month with lower humidity levels. Big changes in that weather. Once again, storms likely after 2 p.m., storms end early Tuesday, sunshine making a comeback Wednesday, turning much cooler on Thursday. Here's that 10 day forecast featuring ups and downs in the weather, going from 90 degrees down to the 70s behind that front, and overall, a nice stretch of sunshine once we make it through these storms.